Hey everyone, Adam Shaw here from Bravura Media Company. Today we're going to be talking about the early history of beer. We're doing this video in tribute to and connection with our new YouTube video series, uh, St. Patrick's Day and Irish Culture and Traditions. So why not do a video on beer history? So that being said, if you like history, you like looking at vintage maps because we do videos on vintage maps, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We like to have a lot of fun here. We like to connect our videos to current events and holidays. Definitely check us out. Give us a subscribe. So let's get to it. Let's talk about the early history of beer. Beer is one of the oldest beverages discovered and invented by humans. The earliest discovery of the sudsy drink was uncovered by archaeologists who chemically tested pottery shards uh, all the way back to about 7,000 years ago around the Iranian area, what we know as the Iranian area today. Uh, this is confirmed by other archaeologists uh, that found evidence uh, on a 6,000 year old Sumerian tablet depicting people drinking a beverage through reed straws uh, from a common bowl. It seems that beer and fermentation rose hand in hand uh, with the tribal domestication of uh, processing cereals and agriculture. It is believed that fermentation might have been stumbled upon. This is kind of interesting. Stumbled upon accidentally by farmers who left out grains for which water and wild yeast in the air interacted. Uh, farmers probably noticed the CO2 bubbles emitting and expelling from these grains and uh, really kind of, you know, wondered what, what was going on. So as you can imagine, if you were a farmer back then and you had a granary and then one day you just walked into your granary and you saw a, a pile of barley just emitting and and piling up bubbles and you knew that you know maybe it rained last night and you kind of thought to yourself what what is going on here you know people kind of from what archaeologists are saying they stumbled upon it they just kind of saw something that was going on and then they were able to cultivate it over time uh, into what we know now as beer. Uh, beer became uh, an integral part and aspect of growth in ancient civilizations uh, throughout Eurasia, North, North Africa, really including Egypt. The beers were often thick and more solid based like the consistency of something like watery oatmeal drinking straws because of this drinking straws were really used often uh with the this thick like gruel uh, because the straws were able to really filter out uh, the alcohol and the more liquid based uh and then separate the solids uh we have some artwork that we're going to show you and uh, uh it's probably appearing right now so uh, definitely check that out we've got some evidence of that ancient rome uh, consumed beer as well, but it lost its popularity because of wine, really. Uh, beer was enjoyed by the Roman legionnaires, referred to as Cerevisia from a Celtic dialect. The Roman pronunciation obviously is evolutionary in that Latin, that Latin beginning to what Spanish countries now refer to as Cerveza. So that's where, you know, if you if you get a Corona and you see Cerveza, that had obviously Latin roots uh, uh, going all the way back to Roman times. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. I wanted to include that. Evidence of Roman legionnaires drinking beer re has recently been unveiled from the Vindolanda tablets. These are thin wooden leaf tablets. And the writings included a cavalry officer requesting more beer to be sent to a garrison because uh, they had already consumed all of the previous stock. So it was in such high demand to the, for the soldiers, they were just flying through this beverage. You know, and beer today is considered a very working class type drink. So uh, it, it's kind of interesting how that parallel 
of, of soldiers and working class still continues thousands of years later. Uh, in ancient Mesopotamia, brewing became a well-respected occupation that was often performed by women. Their, their process included using baked bread that was cooked twice called bat beer, and it was used only for brewing. Uh, it was also realized that over time by, by brewers that reusing the same tubs and containers uh, for fermenting produced more consistent brewing results and that brewers actually brought these tubs with them when they moved or traveled to new locations. These, these tubs weren't just simply thrown away. They had been, over time, they had kept producing more, more cons, you know, consistent beer. There wasn't bad batches of beer. And I think that was because of the uh, excess yeast uh, and fermentation, the, the residues that were left on the barrels. Uh, they, they just, you know, consistently produced good batches versus bad. Uh, beer for Egyptians was also very important. Beer was considered an essential part of a pharaoh's diet, which was used often in religious ceremonies. Beer even assisted in the construction of the Great Pyramids of Giza, if you can believe that. Each worker received anywhere from four to five liters of beer daily, which the Egyptians considered, they actually considered nutritious. They, they thought, you know, beer was good for you, uh, even though, you know, probably lots of their workers were drunk. Uh, if you consume four to five liters of beer, you're getting drunk. Uh, <laughs> a day? Yeah. Beer uh, became one of the most common drinks also in the Middle Ages. Uh, it was drank by all the social classes in European regions where great culp Great cultivation was unattainable because, you, you know, for wine. It seems like if, if you look at a map of Europe, the northern territories of Europe really had strong uh, beer consumption. The lower, obviously, towards Italy and those regions where, you know, you had grape cultivation, uh, r wine was just more predominant. Uh, beer, beer was popular throughout uh, these various northern European regions, even despite being regarded by many as unhealthy. Uh, for instance, in 1256, the, I hope I pronounce this, the royal family uh, Aldobrandino Al of Siena, there we go, described the consumption of beer as, and this is quote, but from which, whichever it is made, whether from oats, barley, or wheat, it harms the head and the stomach. It causes bad breath, ruins the teeth. It fills the stomach with bad fumes. And as a result, anyone who drinks it along with wine becomes drunk quickly. But it does have the property of facilitating urination and it makes one's flesh white and smooth. So certainly there was some pushback to beer. I mean, this is in 1256. So... But it still kept going. You know, the production still kept going, even despite this negative uh, pushback. Uh, the flavoring of beer seems to have emanated in the 9th century. An example of this is seen uh, in the use of hops in beer, which was written about in 1822 by a Calaringian abbot. Uh, hopped beer was eventually perfected in the medieval towns of Bohemia by the 13th century. Uh, beer, for the most part, was brewed in family homes during medieval times. Then by about 14th, 15th centuries, brewing uh, became more artisan and, and was produced in brewery-like facilities that included pubs, monasteries that could deliver in mass quantities. So there's a little history and background to the early beginnings of one of my favorite drinks really i mean i i'm like a beer connoisseur i anything from guinness to um to long trail to uh you know uh switchback i mean i i love this sudsy drink it's it's just it's very enjoyable i've loved it for a long time 
and uh, I just like looking at the history of it. So if you've learned something from this video, uh, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We like doing videos on history, history of beer, vintage maps, history of the Revolutionary War. I mean, we go all over the place. We also like tying history to current events and holidays. We like to have a little bit of fun. So if you like this video, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment on this video if you have any questions about the history of beer. Uh, like this video. Uh, definitely check us out. Uh, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.